In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through a beginner's guide to interior car detailing. Now, this video is gonna be perfect for those of you who are just getting started or you just occasionally enjoy the odd bit of car cleaning on the weekend. So by the time this video is finished, you're gonna have all the knowledge to get out there and get it right. Coming up in today's jam-packed episode, I share my top tips for cleaning the interior of your car and I give away some of the biggest secrets from the trade to help you get the job done in the quickest time possible. So let's kick it off with step number one. So the first thing you've got to do is get the car completely empty, so get everything out of the boot. Now normally I like to start off by doing the boot first, that's just common sense for me, because then at least if it does rain, I can get everything back into the boot to keep it all dry, because there's nothing worse, you get everything out, the clouds come over, it pees it down with rain, and then everything gets soaking wet. So this way it just makes life a little bit easier. Normally it takes a few minutes to get everything out and make sure you wear gloves because you never know what nasty surprises are lurking under those seats. Okay, so now the car's completely empty. This is perfect because I put the seats forward, these have been folded up, so now I've got so much space to get around the car. If I'm gonna do the boot first, I can then take care of the seats, fold it all back, and then I'm ready to move on to the second stage. So we're gonna do this in three stages. Start off with the boot at number one, number two, we're gonna start off in the middle, and then at number three, at the very end, we're gonna finish it all off by doing the front of the car. So that's the best way to break down your cleaning. Break it down in stages, keep it very simple, and it will make your life so much easier. So remember I told you to fold the seats, but well, there's a very good reason for that, and I know you can't do it with every single car, but for this one, this is gonna make our life a heck of a lot easier because now we're gonna start off by doing the roof lining. So first of all, you gotta soak your brush. Not crazy, don't go OTT. The last thing you wanna do is put too much product on the roof lining. And you find your spot that you wanna target and start brushing into it, into a circular motion. Now you probably will get a little bit of foam up on it, but that is not a problem. What that foam's gonna do, it's gonna lift out any of the dirt. So you've only gotta do it for about sort of 30 to 50 seconds. So now get yourself a clean towel. Now I like to use lighter towels, so I've got a white one here, I like to use yellow ones as well. If you go for a dark one, you can't always see the muck and the grit that comes off this. So what you're gonna find is when you've got a white one, if I wipe this now, I can see that on this, I've got a few little stains. I don't really wanna go putting that back up on the roof because it's gonna make it worse. So now I only have to fold the towel over and job done absolutely perfect with the roof lining now done it's time to tackle the boot so i work top down and i start off by giving the plastics a light dusting now if you can't afford detailing brushes then you can always use soft paint brushes or even a makeup brush and while i'm on the subject of paint brushes if you haven't seen my poundland special yet i really do urge you go check it out after this video's finished. Now, we'll put a link in the description below because honestly, I feel that this one's right up there with one of my best videos on the channel. It's great fun, it's full of information, and it really can help you save money if you're car cleaning on a budget. When it comes to chemicals, you need a good interior cleaner. And the one I'm using today is Yum Interior, and it's one of the best on the market, and it's pretty much safe on everything it touches. So I started off by spraying the cleaner onto the plastics and I agitated it with the soft brushes. And it works like magic. And because I like to look after my nice brushes, I then kept my 30p brushes, which are great for getting underneath the rubbers just in case there's some nasty gunk. The boot mat is very easy to clean and for this, I'm using one of those free brush tools that come with every single vacuum cleaner. So there's a top tip for anybody who wants to save a little bit of extra money because they're perfect for getting in the fibers in the carpets. And while we're on the subject, I've got a question for you. Which do you normally do first? Do you start off on the outside or the inside? Let me know in the comments. For the boot door plastics, make sure you spray the cloth first instead of spraying above your head because you don't want to get any chemicals in the eye because let me tell you, that is not pleasant. It's time to get cracking on the rear seats and the vacuuming is so much easier when they're folded down. It really can speed up the cleaning process by a good five minutes or so. So we can finally tick off the boot from the list and we're moving into the middle of the car with an initial dusting just to loose off some of the crumbs and dead skin. At this point, we aren't going for perfection. In fact, we just wanted to get a good 80% out as we will be spraying the interior cleaner and flicking bits onto the floor. 
And here's another power tip for you. Always try to keep the doors shut because on days like today, as you can see, we had a fair bit of wind and there was lots of pollen and there was lots of dust in the air that was blowing in a lot quicker than it was coming out. The seats are very easy to clean and today I have leather ones. And before you say, why don't you just get out the leather cleaner? Well, the answer is simple. I don't need to and that's because I'm using my trusty Yum Interior and because it's great on everything I just want to prove that you don't need loads of chemicals for your everyday general car cleaning. So I'm using three different brushes for this valet and I totally understand that every car is different. So next time we get a horrific car I will be going into severe deep cleaning with a steamer and the power drill so make sure you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for that video. The door cards had the usual scuffs and once again I'm sticking to my interior cleaner but as you spray the doors it's important not to spray close to the glass as you don't want the chemical residue on it especially in the direct sunlight when it comes to the top simply spray the tip of the brush work it into the trim and then follow up with a wipe. With the seats taken care of and pushed back I'm now ready to tackle the driver's section and once again I'm using the heroic Poundland brushes on the pedals just in case I trod in dog poo earlier which brings me to another disgusting fact. Now think about how many times you tread in things like dog poo or walk in public toilets where there's loads of germs. If those brushes were used on the pedals and then used on the steering wheel you would essentially be putting those germs back onto your hands so remember that next time you're eating a bag of crisps in the car. The germs can spread easily and it's horrendous and if you're finding any of these tips or facts useful then please give this video a thumbs up. For the carpets it's very easy and sometimes you may think you need loads of water to get a good clean finish but that's not true. In many cases you can make do with a good fabric spray and a scrub with a brush. If it's horrid then a wet extraction is definitely needed. If you see my glass cleaning video then you may notice that I always preach about not using chemicals but sometimes on the odd occasion you do need to break out the glass cleaner and the method is exactly the same as my traditional one albeit that you have to spray a little bit of cleaner onto the glass or onto the flunky. Also it's so important to get the windows down slightly and if you want to get perfect glass those scum lines can be a real eyesore so spend the extra few minutes just to get them sparkling. For me, dressing the plastics is the very last thing I carry out when it comes to a basic interior valet. But because Yum Interior is that good, you don't always need to dress it on top unless it's something that you prefer yourself. And because it's anti-static, it reduces the chances of dust clinging onto the trim. So there you have it, it just goes to show you don't need loads and loads of chemicals to do a very good job. In fact, you need a couple of chemicals, a few brushes and a few cloths. That will be good enough for your general interior valet. And if you want to see more videos like this that go a bit more in depth, then we are going to be covering wet vacuuming, steam cleaning and also breaking out the power drill. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications and stay tuned because our next video is going to be coming in the next few days. And boy, is it a cracker. I'll see you later. Bye bye.